Yeah. I think I was gonna say I think another thing that you probably I, I think that we have to stop romanticizing the wrong shit. Yeah. Like if you come from a certain area, like at the end of the day, unless you own that real estate. Shit ain't about nothing. It ain't about nothing. Ain't like, about nothing. yo, man, who cares? Like, like who like I, I it, one of my biggest pet peeves is when I see people like I'm still here. Y'all can't come over here. And I'm like, yo, like at the end of the day, like you grew up there and 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 you, you know where you grew up. Like your goal should be to yeah. try to evolve and get into evolve a different situation. And get out of here so we can own this shit. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Evolve and show you this. And that's crazy you saying that, bro. This is like some of the deepest shit I've been talking about right now with you because I just did the AZ on the block shit in Chicago, right there. I just did the AZ on the block interview. Mm-hmm. I thought about I'm like, man, I'm finna go back to the block and shoot this shit. And I thought, like, I don't own that shit, gang. I own a school in Chicago. I'm finna shoot my shit right here. You own the school? I own the school. Why would you Fuck shoot the, on the block else? At the school. This one I'm finna shoot right here. Right here in my shit. I own this property, gang. <laughs> I own this shit, bro. Why not wanna shoot right here? Why not wanna shoot right here? Why not go back to the block when I could own this shit and get this shit to people who I care about? How my homie, nigga, you gotta, uh, a development company, a construction company, mm-hmm. a paint company, a mm-hmm. real estate management company. Get that shit to y'all, and now we really on the block. Mm-hmm. Post up on that bitch all y'all want. Let's yeah. do this. That's and what I'm on. Bro. Also, like your goal should always be to get back to your kids every day. Hell yeah! And if it's like a three percent chance that something wrong happens when you go shoot that, if it's a two percent chance, if it's a one percent chance, fuck, don't do let it. Let me minimize I'm the chances. Here, man. I need to fuck maximize it. the chance of me getting home the to my smallest kids. Smallest chance, nigga. I'm up. Soon some shit rub me the wrong way. I ain't doing it. You feel what I'm saying? But I was this same nigga. Like I know for a fact, I know every risk of doing this. I'ma still do it. Right. Because I feel like I right, bet I could do it. Yeah, cause I got that saying like my my mind had work. I know I feel like I could overcome any situation, and that's dangerous. So mm-hmm. I put myself and in it's, a fucked up situation. Well, that's and that's also feeling not feeling like I could overcome. It. No, that's a terrible mindset. That's a way a crazy I, way to think. Well, I, but I learned that way to think in bad circumstances. I feel like I used to be the same way where I'd be like, Under "Nah, we gonna be all right. We gonna, gonna be, be straight. Right. We gonna I'm get cool. through. Whatever happens, I got it. Fuck it, we, we got it. it. You until you me? don't. Until you don't. Everything all good. Till it ain't. Until it ain't. Nobody's bulletproof. Nobody is uh everything all good until it ain't, bro. Nah, that's some real shit. And I think a lot of people need to stop moving around with um just like I feel like false privilege. Like, hey man, you ain't no better than anybody else. You ain't know what nobody. I'm saying? And I know that though. I understand that. You feel what I'm saying? I just felt like I was the best version of myself. Right. And that ain't no way to think. 